Yo guys, another game here, and welcome back to Subnautica. So remember, uh, a few days ago, I uploaded a video about the Sea Dragon Leviathan skeleton, and I am actually pretty damn curious to what happened with that creature. And apparently, you are able to scan the creature. Uh, let's see, where is it again? Oh, it is in the junction. It is a little bit further away than I thought. But we are able to scan this new Sea Dragon Leviathan skeleton, and we are able to find out what uh, happened to this creature. So I was already able to do this last time. But I just didn't know that. So that is why I didn't scan it back then. But I know that I can scan it right now. So I'm just going to look this, uh, this skeleton up really quick. And then we're going to scan it. So we know what happened to it. So as you may know. Uh, the Lost River Precursor base. That one is completely destroyed. And the Sea Dragon Leviathan does have something to do with it. And that's... Oh, they changed it. They moved it. I think it was first. It was down there. But now it is right over here. And I have a scanner. So let's see what the PDA says when we scan it. Alien sensor. Alright. Let's scan it. There we go. Data download. Download. Downloads. Wow. <laughs> sea Dragon Skeleton. This semi-intact skeletal structure features a 99% overlap with that of the Sea Dragon Leviathan, suggesting it is either the same species or a close cousin. Okay. Head trauma. There is clear evidence of physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it must have been received shortly after death, somewhere near nearby, likely caused by high-speed collision with a solid object. Age. The skeleton has been well preserved, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death around 1000 years ago. Uh, bone growth suggests the creature itself was in the egg laying stage of its life cycle. So what it says right here is that it died about 1000 1, years ago and that is around the same time the uh, precursors were around on this planet and it also says that uh, the head trauma is most likely caused by high speed collision with a solid object. And you know what a solid object is. You are right. The precursor lost river base. <laughs> so what probably happened is. Uh, the sea dragon leviathan attacked this precursor base. Oh damn. Oh oh wow that scared me. <laughs> and the warper god damn it. So the sea dragon leviathan attacked this base. So I know you guys are thinking. Why did he attack this base? So the thing that most probably happened. Is that the precursors. Had some sea dragon leviathan eggs. In this in this base and the sea dragon leviathan wanted that back so he attacked this base so he went in there struck everything trying to destroy this base trying to get its axe back i don't know if that if he succeeded with that i don't know if it got its uh, axe back or that we are going to be able to find it around here in the base i don't know anything about that but we know that the sea dragon leviathan had axe and we know that the precursors took them so that is kind of the story right now behind this uh, precursor base. So last time when I went here there were some uh, iron crystals around here in this room. But now there is a data download. So let's see data download, alien research data. And we also get a signal to the alien thermal plant. This device appears to hold alien research data. It seems that the alien civilization was facing a mass extinction uh, event. Uh, brought on by the bacterium so that is the Kawar disease which we all have which we also have a uh, animation for right now you've probably seen it already I already created a video on it but it doesn't do any harm showing it you right now again oh wow oh this looks even more disgusting when in the dark oh no I think they changed did it change it a little bit I don't know it looks way more disgusting now anyway they established this facility to study the infection and possible cures in seclusion of the specimens on record, only one survived infection with the bacterium. The closest translation of their symbol for the specimen is be emperor. For some reason, this facility was in the study of the emperor and it was instead contained within a purpose-built habitat elsewhere on the planet. While it's unlikely, unlikely that the specimen in question is still contained within the facility, it's possible that alien researchers left behind information relating to the cure they were seeking. References to the Emperor containment facility in the data are scarce, but its location is suggested to be somewhere with the volcanic activity at a depth of approximately 1200 meters. So right here they are talking about the prison that um, where the Sea Emperor is in. So I think that we 
we already knew about this uh, PDA. I think I've already shown it in a video before, not sure about that though. So from here I think you will be sent to the Lava Castle base and after that you will go to the Precursor base which holds the, the thing. What, the, what? What? I thought something showed up here to scan. <laughs> Oh wow, my hands, they look so disgusting. But I think that once you go to Lava Castle, you are going, or you will get some kind of signal that will get you to uh, the precursor base with the prison in it. So we are also able to, uh, to scan this creature right here, which was contained in, um, in this precursor base. So let's see what that says. I also saw a skeleton right there. I don't think we can scan it. Skeletal remains found in alien habitat. Skeletal remains of a vast predator discovered inside an artificial habitat at the alien research facility. Habitat. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life though it has since decayed. Cause of death. Time of death coincides with the facility's abandonment. There is little physical damage to the skeleton, suggesting death from malnourishment or outside interference. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter, this fossilized specimen is sig significantly larger and features unusual forearms more in common with the sea dragon. It matches no living species encountered so far, indicating it has either faced extinction in the past thousand years or evolved beyond recognition. Alright, that is cool. So people have been calling this the Biter Leviathan because it kind of looks like a biter and it is this big. And probably also because it has... Oh, oh yeah, the invisible wall th walls things. Alright, uh, we'll talk about that later. But there is this thing, people think this is the Biter Leviathan for some reason. Uh, that isn't confirmed by the developers. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if it has a name right now. If uh, like an actual name, like an official name. So this warper, we are also able to scan this one, so we know something about what is happening around here as well. If we scan this, there we go. Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm not going to read this for you guys. Just pause the video if you want to read this all the way. So what the precursors did with this warper is they manipulated it to uh, change it around to make it able to warp around. So as you can see all these kind of spikes things, all these uh, spikes, all these things the warper is stuck in, they all lead to individual organs. As you can see, I think that is the heart, isn't it? And right here these lead to some other parts of the body. But the precursors gave this warper something uh, and therefore it is able to uh, teleport itself to warp so since we are in the neighborhood some things changed in the lost river base so i can also show you that as well so this glass this is broken right now first that wasn't first it was the glass in the warper room which we were able to get through to get here and this one is still just uh, all the way finished let's see yeah we already saw this in the other video so right now in the experimental mode of subnautica there is this bug that there are a lot of invisible walls around here uh, the developers tried to um i think it was for the issue that she uh, that the reaper leviathan sometimes came to the safe shallows and therefore they placed invisible wa walls in the game but for some reason invisible walls are everywhere now and sometimes it's just pretty annoying because you aren't able to harvest the outcrops that is something that i uh, had issues with and also some other things that changed around in the game is at the precursor base the prison one where the sea emperor is going to be contained oh right invisible wall again i was able to move i still am not god damn it what is happening uh, but they placed some more of these tripods around so i thought i think that there were first only two of them and right now there are five if I see it right, uh, they place some more. Oh damn! They place some more thermal plants around here, closer to the base, and also they removed this door right here that was locked first, but it is unlocked now. I'm not sure why, but I'm guessing that it's going to be locked uh, later on again. And there are also lots of parts missing from the precursor prison. So right now we're just able to fall through it. There are some iron crystals right there. Flying. 
Oh damn. Oh no, we are falling further down. Oh no. What is happening? Oh my god, this is scary. Where am I going to end up now? Alright, so we are back at uh, the gun for now. It's just just the easiest way to teleport myself to work for now. But before I leave, there is something else that I should mention. The Ghost Leviathan. Uh, there has been a lot of hype around it. And especially last week, um, the developers released a picture of the, of the Ghost Leviathan being in-game. And it wasn't do doing anything. It was just a picture of a static model doing nothing in um in the lost river so as you can see right here this is a screenshot that was on the trailer page that is on the trailer page you can see it right there um where you can see that the ghost leviathan is in the game so the thing that the developers said is that um uh, modeling this ghost leviathan isn't the biggest issue um so isn't uh, animating it the biggest issue is programming it so that it has that like its attitude, what it does, uh, what it reacts to. That seems to be the biggest issue right now. That takes the mo that takes most of its time right now, and that is the thing that is holding it back. Also, one of the developers said that if it is going to be in the game, the Ghost Leviathan, it is probably just going to be a Reaper Leviathan, but with another skin. And I think that if it has the same kind of code, the same kind of attitude as the Reaper Leviathan, it wouldn't either even bother me. Because I just, the model looks so cool and since it is done, I, ju I, I, I would love to see it in the game. And about the bug from the invisible walls, this is just what I mean. I'm swimming forward right now, but there is a wall in front of me, which means I am not able to get this outcrop. Oh, now I am. <laughs> but sometimes it is just really weird. If you have the same issues, if you are also having trouble with... Uh, invisible walls just go back to the stable build because this probably isn't in the stable build all right so i'm going to leave this video right here thank you guys so much for watching this episode and let me know what you think of what happened to the to the sea dragon leviathan the skeleton from like a thousand years ago i pretty like the story and i'm curious if it uh, did get its x i'm pretty curious if it did get its x or not all right so i'm going to leave this video right here thank you guys so much for watching this episode and i will see you guys in the next one Thanks, you gon' pop that. Uh.